guys, how's it going? Uh, just a quick video today. I want to talk a bit about Faith Goldie and her being banned from Facebook. Now, this has been big news here in Canada. I'm sure it's big news across much of the internet that Facebook has started to ban, you know, white supremacist groups from their platform. And there was a bit of an interim where, you know, Faith Goldie wasn't originally banned because they said that, you know, her views didn't necessarily constitute white supremacy, but as of uh, this morning, I believe, uh, she and other groups like the Soldiers of Odin uh, were banned from Facebook. A lot of Canadian alt-right voices and, and, and institutions were banned from the platform. And I think this is great news. I think this is great news. You know, I think everybody has a right to be concerned about censorship, but hateful views do not fall under the realm of free speech, at least in my, at least in my perspective. Hate speech is not free speech. And these views are hateful. They're designed to spur uh, distrust and violence against immigrants, against racialized people, against non-Christians generally, but but specifically Muslims, uh, to, to stoke Islamophobia. And there's no place for that on any sort of respectable platform. So it's great to see Facebook and Instagram take that move. You know, Faith Goldie likes to say that it's, you know, she just quotes statistics. All she's doing is telling the uncomfortable truth uh, that, you know, Canada is turning into a non-white, non-Christian country, and that the, the, you know, the original peoples of this country, of course, she never means indigenous people. She means the original white settlers of this country are, you know, being replaced. And, and this is, these views are abhorrent in and of themselves, but as I noted in a previous video just a couple weeks ago, it's my biggest video to date, really, um, I noted that in many ways, Faith Goldie, Lauren Southern, uh, other Canadian alt-right figures have really helped to popularize this idea of the Great Replacement, which is that through immigration, through birth rates, through refugee, you know, resettlements, white people are being replaced. And, you know, whether it's a, a conspiracy by social justice warriors or globalists or, quote-unquote, the Jews, you know, whatever, usually it's a mix of those three uh, kind of broad categories, they are working to destroy whiteness. They're working to destroy Christianity. They're working to destroy Western civilization, whatever, you know, however you want to define those, those, those broad categories. And these theories were the very same that underwrote the Christchurch shooter. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, the Christchurch shooter was, did what he did because of Faith Goldie. Certainly, I don't think we can make that connection. But what we can say is that she, as one of the biggest alt-right voices on the internet, uh, certainly in Canada, but li likely globally, she has, you know, taken her platform and with other people, like, again, like Lauren Southern, has, has really tried to hammer home this idea that white people are being replaced and our governments are doing nothing to stop it. And this is connected to the rhetoric at, you know, Charlottesville, you know, the, 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 the white men with tiki torches saying you will not replace us. And it's no surprise that this rhetoric in general, coming from multiple sources, which one of which is Faith Goldie, has inspired some desperate, angry white men to take direct, violent action against the people who they feel are replacing them. So I think Facebook has done the right thing here. This isn't just about free speech. This is about people promoting the the ideologies that lead to, to, to racist, Islamophobic violence. Simple as that. Simple as that. Now the question becomes then, what's, what's next for Faith Goldie? She, she, she posted a video of her, you know, in this kind of Mediterranean beachscape saying, you know, oh, I, you know, I'll, I'll move on from this. This isn't a big deal. Go to, go to my website and you'll know, we'll fight the censors. But I really think that, you know, there's been a movement to, to do what we needed to do a long time ago. You know, make, make Nazis, make fascists afraid again. Put them back underground. Make their ideology abhorrent. Make their ideology, you know, no longer plausibly within the mainstream. And so I think what needs to happen next, frankly, is Faith Goalie needs to be banned from other major platforms. People like her as well. From, from Twitter and from YouTube. YouTube has an alt-right problem. We know this. YouTube has a problem with promoting hateful ideologies. And because the platform has so many kind of key alt-right voices on it, 
it really does create you know this this swirl where the algorithm I don't know if you've noticed this sort of pulls you towards some of those sources I mean it's not a it's not because I agree with Ben Shapiro that my videos often recommend his in the following it's you know that the alt-right has such a, a, a outsized platform relative to their impact on the actual political discourse outside of YouTube that they you know the views are pulled towards them and I think honestly we have to ask ourselves how do we balance free speech and hate speech and I think that there's a merit to saying that free speech needs to be defined fairly broadly but when your speech leads logically sometimes directly sometimes indirectly to the uh, assumption that some people have no worthiness to live where you live and have no right to exist depending on the kind of narratives you take that's when it crosses from uh, speech to dehumanization and there should be no place for it so again great great news from Facebook it's actually a great move by them you know uh, I don't think necessarily always that private companies should have such the sway that that they do like Facebook has but you know when they do take good actions like this they have an impact but I want to see what happens with Twitter and YouTube will they ban this hateful speech